Hey everyone, welcome to Small Screen Reactions. My name is Andrew and I'm here to react to South Park Season 6, Episode 4. Very excited to watch this, you guys. Uh, loving South Park. I'm still waiting for our coming, Kenny coming back to life episode. Because I know it's coming. I just don't know when, but I know it's coming. I know. I don't know if it'll be the season finale. I don't know if it'll be a couple episodes or if it'll be this episode. No idea, but it's coming. And I know it. So, yeah. Alright, before we get into this though, please do not forget to go check out Patreon. We can get right ahead of us right now where we are. If you're watching this on YouTube, right now we are solid six, eight episodes ahead on Patreon. So go check it out. Also, on Patreon you get Patreon exclusive shows. Shows that are only on Patreon like Attack on Titan, Pox and Wreck, and many more. So go check it out, okay? Please? Okay. Alright, thank you and without further ado, here we go. <laughs> Trip. Okay, children, step off the bus and form a group next to the nice redneck. I <laughs> Boys and girls, my name is Rancher Bob. Let's all say hello to Rancher Bob. Hey. I'm pleased to show you all. Follow me. City kids get to go to museums for field trips. We get cow farms. Yeah. Ah, here you can see how the magic begins as the cows eat, sleep, and prepare for certain death. <laughs> they look so delicious. Oh, good. Here we have the slaughterhouse. Oh, this is we're gonna where see we all of it. Okay. And steaks and burgers. Oh. Yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> Anybody want a free sample? Me, 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 me. Yeah, that's expensive. We have our veal ranch. Oh. Oh. Well. Oh, why do you have to make this look so cute? I love veal. That way, their muscle tissue stays soft and makes for tender veal. Wait a minute. Wow. Veal is... Yeah, fur. Then why the hell do they call it veal? Well, if we yeah. called it little baby cow, people might not eat it. Probably, yeah. I yeah. Uh, me neither. Oh, man, look at that one. <laughs> Common. What? Mm, succulent and juicy. Can we have a free sample of these, too? Well, <laughs> no, but all these slaughterhouse tomorrow morning. They'll be steaks by the afternoon, and then you can buy them at your grocery store. Oh, damn. Tomorrow morning? It's so cute. Dude, we gotta help Look, them. three people with souls here. Psst, Cartman. Yeah, Uncle Jesse. No. Oh. Cartman, wake up. What? Well. What the hell you got? Come on, we gotta go. Where are we going? We're gonna go save the little baby cows, fat ass. <laughs> what? Why? Because they're gonna get bag. You're our friend. Now come help us. Well, let's see. In the last 3.2 seconds, you've called me fat ass, butthole, and douchebag. Yeah. I really don't feel much like you guys are friends. Fair. We're sorry. You are our friend. Wait. I thought you said we needed him because he has the mercy of impossible breaking and entering playset. <laughs> Damn it, Buttersby. Shut up. Uh -huh. So you need me yeah. in my mission impossible breaking. We're those little baby cows only hope. Will you help us? Yes. Yes, I will. If Kyle mm -hmm. will kiss my black ass. Oh my god. I'll help. Screw you, Cartman. Okay, but if you want my help, you have to give it just a little kiss. Kiss it. Oh, go on. Don't do it. Don't do it. Kiss it. It's not worth it. it. Just do it really fast and we can go. Have butters kiss it. No, it has to be Kyle. <laughs> oh, oh. Ew. Man, that was so awesome. Oh. I, so sick. I felt it on my face. Okay, very funny, Cartman. Now, come on. <laughs> hey, I'm not going with you. After all that, yeah, beat him up. Destroy him. <laughs> I don't know about this, fellas. It says right here on the Mission Impossible Breaking and Entering playset. Not for actual breaking and entering. Yeah. Breaking and entering is a toy. crime. Yeah, well, kill Jesus. Don't you guys have any toys? First, you put on the black ski mask and use the torch to cut a hole in the roof. But it's a fake look. At oh, it's a real one. Never mind. Why do they have that in a toy kit? What's the plan? Okay, that's far enough. I'm going to go Delta. You have to talk louder. I forgot the AA batteries for the Super Talk play action headset. <laughs> oh. Don't be scared, little baby cow. We're here to set you loose. There you go. You're free. I can't Run away. Move, though. It's go. Weak. They're gonna murder you. Dan, could you hurry up? I'm freezing my ass off. You need to freeze some of your ass off. <laughs> uh, at least I have an ass. Too. <laughs> what? Well, what's the matter? They aren't leaving. See, maybe they want to become sweet. Well, they just don't know how to. They've never been allowed to walk before. Yeah. They just don't know how. Oh, yeah, they're too weak to move. You gotta move them. You gotta get them out of here. Just keep them at Butter's house until they can get their strength back. No, 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 uh, no. I fans are gonna love that. House, I'll get grounded. <laughs> okay, fine, Butters. I get team player. We'll bring them to my house. Dude, how are we gonna move 23 calves to your house? Yeah. I don't know. 
We could kill birds and then Whoa. float the calves on a river of blood. Don't no. be stupid, Carmen. Butter doesn't have that much blood in it. <laughs> Come on, you guys. This is going to take forever. Yeah. Can't you just have like a wagon or something? <laughs> Check it out, you guys. I'm calf curling. <laughs> Carmen. Man, these calves smell like crap. I don't see how you're gonna hide them from your mom much longer. Yeah. We won't have to. Butter said he had something in his house that makes baby cows strong again. He's bringing it over. Oh, God, what? Hey, Bellows! Butter, did you bring oh. it? Oh. I sure did. <laughs> we'll have those poor baby cows in shape in no time. Oh, my right. God. Susie and Summer's cow. Make your calves stronger in just two days. Oh, God <laughs> damn it. That's your plan? <laughs> uh, you think it's a given? You never Susie know. Susie promises right on the box. Stole some of his property. Stole? Are, are you sure? I followed a calf curling trail right to your house, ma'am. Oh, of course. Oh, in trouble. Let me kick again. Oh, we haven't seen her in forever. Not a thief. I'm sure this is just some kind of misunderstanding. Oh, just wait. Stanley, did you see? <laughs> oh, crap! Take his cows back, and you don't have a choice. Oh. Oh, he just locked himself in. Oh damn, no. he dead. Stan, you're behaving like a. We were making little baby animals suffer. Open this door now. Kiss my ass. Oh. oh he said ass to his parents. Oh. You're getting it pretty deep, dude. Yeah. I, I can't lie to my son, okay? If I betrayed him like that, I'd pay for it the rest of my life. Yeah. Well, that's just too bad. Look, I got eight hundred dollars worth of veal up there, and I have to ship it out Friday. We're going to do, Officer Barbrady. Me? How did I get into this mess? Cause you're the cop. <laughs> what happens now? I'm gonna lock myself in here with these cows until we have a guarantee of their safety in writing. We're with you, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Don't be so sure. But I tell you, this is gonna get ugly. Oh, yeah. Real ugly. When all is said and done, you could all be looking at being grounded for three, perhaps even four weeks. Whoa. So if any of you guys want out, just say the word now. I want out. Yeah. <laughs> you don't get a choice, Carmen. We can't let those little baby cows down. Well, they've got no one else to turn to. Then it's settled. One for all and all for one, except Cartman. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, <what>? yeah. <laughs> Stan's room until we can promise them the calves will live free in writing. Well, this is ridiculous. I don't know how you raise your kids, but my son does not play negotiator with me. <laughs> well, excuse that simple. Ha! Give me 15 seconds with Kyle and I'll have that door open. Sure. This is your mother. You will open this door right now. No, I won't. <laughs> yes, I see what you mean, Sheila. That was yeah. very impressive. <laughs> Kyle, if you don't do what you're told them, well, you made me eat veal and didn't tell me what it was. So go ahead and be angry, you baby cow killing bitch. Oh. Very persuasive. Ah, oh. oh let, let me try. Butters? Uh oh. Butters, this is your fault. Butters may be the weak link. But, but Dad, they're angry at me. Don't panic. I'll tell you what to say. Butters, right now. Dad, uh, why don't you suck my fat one? <laughs> what? Oh, please. Well, that's fine. You boys can just stay in there and starve to death. Us parents are going to go to Pizza Shack and have pepperoni pizzas and ice cream. Oh. God damn it, you dad. The longer you wait, the more trouble you'll be in. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't make it. Your mom is right, douchebag. What are we going to do? Stand here until we starve? Our Fair parents point. would never let us starve. They're bluffing. This is a battle of wills. Okay. We hold out so long he's going to hold on the longest. Have to sleep, dude. Three of us can sleep while one keeps watch. We'll shift every couple of hours. Hey, hey this is gonna be just like Vietnam. Love that. Oh, what? <laughs> These baby cows for as long as it takes. Oh, look, they're walking. Oh. Oh. Uh... I don't see this lasting much longer. Tried everything. We can't get through the door without tearing apart the house. Dear God, it's been over 13 hours. Can oh, you just take the door off the hinges? <laughs> Good night, Good night. 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 Good you might be right, dude. <laughs> uh, hey. Wait, what is that? Uh oh. Dude, food. <gasps> Miss Carter. Oh, what she can't help it. My baby suffer. Oh dear God, you ruined everything. All right. See, now we can hold out for weeks. Look, you guys, beef jerky. Nice. Yeah, and fried chicken. Ah. Uh -huh. Eating meat. What the hell do you guys think we're doing all this for? 
Hey, I'm doing it to save little baby cows. I'm not gonna stop eating meat altogether. Those are chickens and pigs, though. Did I become a pussy? That's what? fine. You guys can live off of flesh, but I'm never eating meat again. Go Sam's ahead. going all the way. You want some beef jerky, buddy? Good for him. Yeah, I've been do... vegetarian before. That's as far as I can go, and only for about Dude, a year. That's messed up. Yeah, very messed up. Do not feed animals animals. Like, not a cow a cow. Insane boy terrorists have barricaded themselves inside a room with 23 live infant cattle. <laughs> hey, look. Some other kids are doing the same thing we are. Really? <laughs> uh, oh, my God, idiot. I was like, wait, what? No. <laughs> I actually fell for that. I mean, to think this could happen right here in our own community. We it's, gave those what? kids everything, and they turned into little John Walkers. Ooh. The police chief says that there will be no negotiations with terrorists. Oh no, and this is big time trouble now, fellas. Two is it though? Exactly what we yes, it looks like the boy terrorist story is not interesting news to anyone. Oh. Uh, nothing else was going on, Tom, so this was the only story we had to make seem important. <laughs> but people are just so. HBC will now be switching programming once again to puppies from around the world. Ooh. Aww. So cute. <laughs> oh, get the ball, get the ball. <laughs> I love puppies. I don't believe it. The Chinese puppy, my favorite so far. <laughs> Butters, Butters, you have your arm around me. <laughs> oh, sorry. I thought you were Mr. Pickles. We must have the help. Oh, we must save the their fans. Ah, uh, they've got the hippies on their side. Tomorrow, hippies! What are they doing here? We're with you, boys. Your message is real and your fight is just. Yeah, yeah. yeah they're gonna change their minds now. What did I tell you, Stan? We saved some baby cows from being eaten, and now we're no good, dirty, goddamn hippies! <laughs> Calf terrorist standoff continues as now members of the FBI arrive to put an end to the conflict. Really, FBI? Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Who's in charge? <coughs> Dude, are you okay? Oh, I just feel so run down. I don't know what's wrong with me. I've got these sores. Oh, are you logic? Don't worry, I'm a negotiator. It's my job to talk to freaks like this and bring about a peaceful resolution using clever psychology. Okay. Hello? Uh, hold on. It's some negotiator named Mike. What do I do? Don't give him anything. What do I say? Ah, uh, give me that. Talk to me, Meg. Mm -hmm. I'm here to make sure we can all in. How about we make a trade, just to show that we can trust each other? What'd you have in mind? Well, how about you send out one of the calves? Oh, Meg, you're breaking my balls here, Meg. <laughs> Alright, how what? about this? You guys have all the leverage and we have nothing. So how about <laughs> we give you one calf, we'll give you one calf, if you'll give us some guns and ammunition of our own. Wow. I, I, I can't do that. Yeah, that's oh, I'm insane. sorry. I thought we were talking here, but I guess you're not talking to me. Goodbye. No, oh. no, wait, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Look at who's the negotiator now. I'm just a guy from Lakewood trying to make ends meet, you know? Just a blue collar guy like your dad. Don't have a dad, Mike. It's not going <laughs> to oh, All right. Uh, some guns. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Up a little. Left a little. So you guys are giving kids guns. That. We're giving the boys some guns weapons. in return for a camp. It's insane. What? You're giving my baby guns? Hey, this is a negotiation process, okay? Did no, you it's people stupid. Go to <laughs> All right, we'll keep ours. We'll send out one calf. Well, how about you send out two calves? Oh, Jesus. You know, there's just no time to use them, Mike. Oh, Stan, he's not look so good. Okay, I'm sorry. Just send out one calf. Oh, no, no, no. Now you're going to have to get us something else. <laughs> in mind. Oh, my God. What? A, what is this, a warhead? Okay, what the hell? Low to the right. You're giving them a missile? Stand well, why down, would you do that? Stand down. This is a delicate process. I've almost earned their trust. No, you have It's getting worse, you guys. Oh, God. Well, I did manage to get the FDA to officially change the word veal to tortured baby cow. Wow. Okay, good. Couldn't get you north in South Dakota. Oh, uh, man. Breaking my buzz, man. <laughs> now, please, can, can we get you to come out? All right, everything is worked out. The boys have promised to come out and bring the cows out with them. Oh, right. I'm sorry I doubted your abilities, Mr. Ghost. Yeah, I kind of did too. Yes, all we need to do in return is get a cattle transporting semi truck that will take the boys and the cattle to Denver International Airport what? where we have a fully gassed airplane waiting to take them all to Mexico. Oh my god. It plays Mr. Worf on Star Trek to drive the truck. Oh, I don't know that. <laughs> You are, in fact, the worst negotiator Probably, I've ever yeah. seen in action. All right, all right, I'll give you that. <laughs> in return, I want three staples. Get what? out of here. We'll get them the semi, worst. and we'll get them the... But isn't that dishonest? Maybe so. But if we don't do something soon, there could be 50 
Even 60 people have to go without veal for dinner. <gasps> Are you oh, no. All right, where is Mr. Dorn? I was woken up at 3 in the morning. Oh, told I, oh, I recognize this guy. This what the hell is going stuff. on? I'm sorry, Mr. Stan, it worked. It did? They got us a truck and an airplane and Mr. Warp. The cows are going to be okay. She's got like bugs yeah, or I... something. Or like something from the cows. Do it. <laughs> Alright, Mr. Warp, start the engine and put her in gear. Oh, and you must refer to me as Captain. Where am I supposed to drive to? No. And where am I supposed to drive to? You're going to back the truck up to the door of the house so we can safely load in the cab. This whole thing is ridiculous. Captain, Let's this whole it. thing is ridiculous. <laughs> Captain. What's that? Tom, it looks as though the terrorists are now loading the baby cows into the back of a semi. This is still very uninteresting news, Tom. <laughs> okay, Cartman, here we come. Uh... Wait a minute, they're following us. What do you think was going to happen? We cannot keep going fast on these icy roads. Captain, we cannot keep going fast on these icy roads. <laughs> Captain, we cannot keep going fast. <laughs> All right, they're in front of the cattle ranch. Hit it. They put balloons? <laughs> For Christ. All right, boys, the game is over. Get out of the truck with your hands up. Oh, no. It's no. time, guys. You tried. I'm not killing anybody. Some goddamn cling on you are. <laughs> Here you go, Mr. Rancher. I got your cattle back for you. Oh. Well, it doesn't matter now. What do you mean? What? In the 24 hours since the word veal was officially changed. Oh, yeah. The market has gone dry. Not surprised. Seems when people see little tortured baby cow on their menus, they don't feel like ordering. Yeah, usually not. We're spit now. I'll let them live outside with the other cows and live a normal life. Aww. You hear that, Stan? It worked. They we saved shut down them. The industry. Stan? Oh. Stan? Oh. He's very lucky you got him here when you did. He was in a very advanced state of vaginitis. What? Vaginitis? It occurs when a person stops eating meat. Those sores on his skin were actually small <laughs> vaginas. If Ridiculous. he hadn't stopped it in time, one great big giant pussy. Wow. Yeah, he got an IV of pure beef blood pumping into Stan's veins and the sores are fading. <laughs> this Thank is God insane. Well, I guess we learned something today. They eat veal because the animals are so horribly mistreated. But if you don't eat meat at all, you break out in vaginas. Yeah. Right, boys, it's time to go home. You've got some serious grounding time to yeah. start. I'll say. Uh, we're still grounded. Duh. But, but we, we learned things up a cause. Yes, Kyle, but you still defy your parents. Yep. And you need to learn that terrorism is never the answer. <laughs> True. These terrorists to their rooms. But first, maybe we can grab some burgers. Right. Okay. <laughs> now I want a burger. I want some meat. I want some food. Ooh, that sounds really good. Well, this was a whole... Them, the boys, taking a stance against murdering baby cows. Which, good for them for having that stance. I still like veal. I still like to eat it often, but I like meat in general. Just had chicken for lunch. I love a good steak. Mm. Seafood, too. I love seafood. Sushi's my favorite. This episode made me a little hungry. Is that weird? Is that bad? Feels like it's a little bit bad. Whatever. <laughs> it was fun overall. Uh, thank you guys for watching me so much. Don't forget to go check out Patreon. Link down below in the description box. And I hope you have you all having a fantastic day. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.